Begin by opening a block. Let's open FC21. Select Network 3. Click the glasses to turn monitoring on. Input 1.5, named LL1110, has failed. We do not have another device on hand and need to temporarily bypass the switch so the pump will work. We will do this by adding a software jumper around the input contact. Select the network line ahead of LL1110. Click the branch down button. Add a normally open contact and close the branch. Select the newly added contact. Add the predefined memory bit, M0.1, which is an always on bit. To see how to create an always on bit, watch the videos on making an always on and always off bit. Save the block and download it. Overwrite the existing block in the PLC and monitor the block again. Click the network number so that monitoring starts from the beginning of the network down. Now the switch is bypassed with a software jumper. When we get the replacement part, we'll return to the code and turn monitoring off. To remove the jumper, right-click the contact and delete it. Save the block, download it, and overwrite the existing block. This concludes the video on how to add a software jumper.